Protesters still blocking UK oil terminals, more than 100 arrested. The fossil fuel business has been disrupted by a climate change protest by blocking UK oil ports, which has resulted in the arrest of more than 100 individuals. Participants in the Just Stop Oil protest climbed onto tankers and glued themselves to highways near refineries in London, Birmingham and Southampton in the early hours of Friday. In the early morning hours of Saturday, the protesters proceeded to disrupt oil ports and claimed that they had obtained access to other locations. 83 persons were detained by Essex police officers during demonstrations in Thurrock. As a result of the demonstrations at Oliver Road Greys, Purfleet, London Road, and Askew Farm Lane, Greys, the police reported that 63 people had been detained as of Friday afternoon. Gray's Oliver Road and Stoneness Road saw the arrest of another 20 persons on Saturday. According to the police, they were detained for a number of different offences. Protesters on Oliver Road, Stoneness Road and London Road are still being confronted by police. Our police are working tirelessly to ensure the demonstrations are safe and swiftly ended, said Assistant Chief Constable Rachel Nolan. The businesses, drivers, and employees in the area deserve my gratitude for their patience while we complete our renovations. Protesters in high-vis jackets climbed on top of a tanker and blocked a road with a banner saying, Just Stop Oil, in Essex, where navigator terminals are located. They said protesters had blocked entry to the Titan Truck Park and disclosed a hidden subterranean network of tunnels going to the property. There will be no more access to the vital oil ports because of this development. The organization wants the government to stop approving new oil and gas projects. For the group, this week's campaign marked a shift from civil disobedience methods to more active civil resistance. An order issued by the High Court prohibiting demonstrations near oil ports hasn't stopped the protesters from gluing themselves to highways, hanging from bamboo tripods and locking onto one another. Three of ExxonMobil UK's terminals were forced to shut as a consequence of the blockades. Police from at least five different departments were on the scene to deal with the protests. They arrested people for things like aggravated trespass, criminal damage and blocking the highway.